This video is going to be entitled Arbitration. This is for all of those people who have done arbitrations through any of the arbitration associations, including HEMP, HMP, and any other private arbitration association. You need to understand if you received an arbitration award, you don't need to go to a stupid judge. That's right, I said stupid judge. It doesn't matter whether or not they are saying they're following the law. The law is plain when it comes to arbitration. You get an award, the other party had an opportunity to contest and they did not, they lose. They cannot contest it in court as long as they were given due process. Did they receive a copy of the arbitration? If they receive the copy of the arbitration, they can't challenge it. Why? Because the time to do so was in the arbitration hearing and if they did not show up at the arbitration hearing, which does not have to be an actual hearing where the parties sit and spin, it can be a documentary hearing where the documents that are presented, I just had a judge do that to us. The other party asked for a demure and we basically told them, thank you for proving that there is a controversy. And when there is a controversy, you can't dismiss this matter. So go ahead, idiot, dismiss it. And I'm saying that to him because I know he's watching this video. Oh, no, no, they are monitoring my videos. So go ahead and dismiss it, idiot. And I'll just take it to the next court above you on just that issue. I ain't got to argue. I just need you guys to prove that you don't provide due process. That's all. That's all I'm doing is testing your system. Ladies and gentlemen, when you do an arbitration, you get an award. And the other party doesn't contest. Does it matter if it's more than 200 days? Does it matter if it's more than three years? Doesn't matter if it's more than 10 years. It's still an outstanding debt. Go back and reread the IRS tax topic 453. IRS tax topic 453. Just type it in Google and notice what you can do. Now you do everything as business because you don't conduct private business. Oh, yes, you do. It's still business, ain't it? So do everything as business. There's no definition for business. Your personal business, your private business, your mama's business, your dog's business. Hey, she's over there doing her business. Okay, leave her alone. Everybody's got a business. Why don't you mind your own? Okay, do everything as a business. Doesn't matter. Sole proprietorship or nonprofit religious trust organization. Now, many of you received the nonprofit religious trust organization. You know what I mean? So, hey, recognize what you got. We only going to talk about the arbitrations for the moment. Do your 1099s. You're the creditor. They're the debtor. When you do your 1099s, pay attention. When you do your 1099s, you're going to do a 1041. Now, if you're doing it as a sole proprietor, you can do a 1040. But I'm doing 1041s. Why? Because mine's a trust and an estate. Okay? 1041. It's a business. And, when, and I've already gotten all the paperwork, the EINs, whatever your business is in with an EIN, do it under that. Whatever your EIN is under, if it's not an EIN, it's a social security number pur purportedly being used as an EIN, then you do the 1040, Schedule C, and then pay attention, Form 3800. That's where you document credits. Now, when you do the 1041, you have your vouchers. Remember, you got to do the quarterly amount. And then add it all up at the end, what's your 1040V or 1041V? Now, I don't like to just use the vouchers as the, because you have to put an endorsement on the voucher if you want it to be accepted as a payment. There has to be an endorsement. What's an endorsement? Pay to the order of the United States Treasury. You can put period without recourse. That works. There's nothing they can do about that. You can also say, like we did in the video that was done Sunday, credit the same or any remaining balance to the following account and give them your bank account information. Now I'm going to, I'm going to tell you guys something. People are going to be, they're going to be very upset about this, but when you get money into your bank account and it's large sums, pull that money out of that account, leave, leave a couple of thousand dollars in there. If it's more than $40,000, leave $10,000 in the account. Okay. Don't just take everything out of that account. And when you take it out of the account, do so in a cashier's check. And then take the cashier's check and do whatever you want to with it. Deposit it into another account. That way nobody can go into that account and snatch that money back out because they have no jurisdiction. There was a different medium of deposit, so it's not the same amount and they cannot prove it. 
Ta-da! Anyway, again, there are some people who are going to understand exactly what I just said. Many of you are not, and I can't do anything about that because that means you have research to do. Back to the arbitration. The next thing you're doing, because it's an arbitration, you're documenting the debt, you're documenting the debtor, you're putting together a letter explaining that the credits, pay attention, they're not tax credits. Let's pay attention to this. These are federal credits. They have nothing to do with taxes. The 1099-C is an information form. It's not a tax form. But the IRS says it's a tax form. Read the instructions. It tells you it's for information purposes. It's an information form. It's not a tax form. It's just a notification. Hey, these fools owe me some money. Credit this to my account. Now, here's the one thing that nobody ever talks about. When the IRS gives you those credits in your transcript, pay attention. Do they call them tax credits? No, they don't. But when they give you the credits on your transcripts, do they call them tax credits? No, they don't. That's proof that they're not tax credits. They're federal credits. They're government obligations. Government obligations are dollar for dollar. They're worth 100 cents on a dollar. That equates to dollar for dollar. Government obligations. So that means they have value. So document your value. And the 1041, when you do it correctly, you could actually obtain a refund when you do it correctly. I'm not here to tell you how to do it. I'm just here to tell you what the possibilities are. Okay? That's all I'm here to do. Now, your arbitration awards, you've documented everything. Hey, stop stressing. Well, they didn't do this and they didn't. Well, look at what you did. Okay, don't worry about what Day-Day did and Day-Day didn't. Okay, Day-Day is dead. Okay, I, 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 I saw the advertisement. He dead. Day-Day is dead. So leave Day-Day alone. Let the, let the uh, dead bury the dead. Let them rest in peace. I'm going to be talking about Day-Day did this and Day-Day did that and Day-Day did that. Stop it. Ladies and gentlemen, to put it real simple, the videos on the 1099C, the ones that says successfully completing a 1090C, that's 99C, that's 5 minutes and 16 seconds long. That's what I go look at. You're the creditor, they're the debtor. Document your credits, people. If you don't do anything else, just go online, 1099 online, or tax, the number two, file.com, or what's the other one? Tax1099.com. And there's another one that everybody, Tax Act. Any of those sites can handle your 1099Cs. Once you file your 1099Cs, the credits are automatic. After you receive the approval, the credits are automatic. Now, when you do them by hand, all you need to do is show proof you sent it in by hand. There's no approval thing. The only thing they can do is reject. And if they reject it, they have to state the precise reason why. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this video was just to go ahead and tell some of you we know that you're not getting it. So this was to make it a little bit plainer. So put all of the videos together, go back and listen to them until you get it. And that means you have to keep listening. I just went back and listened to the 50-minute video. That's three videos in one. I just went back and listened to that. And, you know, I literally at this moment agree with every single thing that's in there. If I do say myself. It was so oh, amazing. Well, anyway, well, I, I just got to let you guys go. So have a good day, everybody. We will talk at another time because I got to go get some rest. I have a meeting coming up in less than two hours, so it's time for me to go rest in me, rest in me. Have a good day. Arrivederci.